What's up champions? So in this video I want to show you a very simple routine that you can do to get uh, that first chin up and later on also get your first pull up. So this is a very simple routine to be done twice a week. So you don't have to do it more than two times per week. Uh, make sure to have three to five minute pause between the exercises and in the start, start with three sets per exercise if you haven't trained a lot in the past because you need to adjust to the rhythm. And then as you get stronger, progress towards five sets per exercise. So that's all the details regarding it. And we're gonna use very simple exercises. What we're not gonna use is the band. So the band, even though these days you see it often abused for getting for doing the muscle ups or doing the doing the pull ups with assist, assistance underneath the feet and that's that's bullshit your scapular connection will be shit because the band is helping you a lot in that bottom part of the movement so it's here is really pulling you a lot so it's not that difficult to engage that depression which is what you absolutely need to work on if you want to get your first chin up or pull up and that's usually the difficult part especially with women that top position is usually quite strong but here the the bottom position is usually usually quite shitty and uh, if you're a woman don't be discouraged i've taught several women how to do pull-ups taught several men how to do pull-ups i even tried to teach my cat how to do a pull-up and she succeeded i think it was once on a rope there but yeah uh, it's doable for everybody and everybody should be capable to do a chin up or a pull up. So basically we're going to start with simple exercises, not using the band. Why? So here I just always like to quote Ido Portal. So basically it's interruption of the strength curve and motor unit recruitment and also weak uh, links mismatching. So I know all this sounds a bit scientific and it is, but basically it means if you're using the band, you're not going to develop the strength. Uh, in the areas that you need it and also it's going to be slowing down your progress. Also I've seen the most uh, unsymmetrical pull-ups I've seen was with using the band because then people just don't give a shit about their scapular depression because the band is here just helping you so much so you see pull-ups with scapular elevation you see just a lot of horrible stuff. So make sure with dyna dynamic movements don't use the band but use the progression that you can actually perform so you need to be a bit more patient here but yeah you need to be patient if you want to achieve great stuff so yeah be patient so right now let's get started with the routine i'm going to show you some different exercises so start with about three sets per exercise three to five minute pause in between sets and then as you get stronger progress towards five sets per exercise so yeah that's basically it let's get started with the routine and get your first uh, chin up or your first pull up Boom. Alright, so that is the routine. Now all you gotta do is actually put in the work 
and twice a week do this routine. If it starts to become less and less challenging, make sure to spice it up. So either do a set more or try to make it more intense. So regarding feet assisted chin-ups, have more weight on the actual hands or have the, like, have the feet extremely light. Regarding the rows, you can put something underneath your feet so to make the angle a bit more extreme and it's gonna be more challenging. And you can always use a harder band for the for the bicep curls or simply use weight and put more weight there. So yeah, that's basically it for this routine. After you get stronger, then then it's time to include some negatives into the game. And this is a very important, uh, very important part because people like to jump right away. Oh, let's go to the negatives. Negatives are the most stressful thing you can actually perform. You know, and if you're a beginner, if you're not capable of performing even one chin up, you don't get to jump right away to negatives, especially if you haven't been training so far, you know? So it's very important to first develop some strength, develop some muscle, so that's why this routine, and then after this becomes a bit too easy and you feel like you can do a very controlled negative all the way down, basically starting on the top, here in a good position, you can jump up or step on a stool or something, and then simply lower down with good scapular depression, and here, First, extend the arms and then also uh, let go of that depression in both shoulders at the same time. So very important. So that's how you're gonna develop good scapular strength to be able to very soon do your first uh, chin-up. And then later on, as you get stronger in the chin-ups, obviously use the same principles and get to that pull-up. Huh. How often should we do the negatives? So after the routine has become, this routine becomes a bit too easy, maybe you've been doing it for four weeks or maybe two months, and then you're like, okay, now I can do some very clean, good-looking negatives. So in that case, I would first go with a one very controlled negative, something like six to 10 seconds. So you don't need to go for more than 10 seconds, and you do this for about five sets in the beginning of your practice, and then you continue with some rows and finish with some bicep, wo bicep work. And then again, as you get stronger, you can do two negatives uh, in a single set. That's also very good. So a six second negative, jump up again, and again, about six seconds negative, controlled, uh, and do this for about five sets. And as you get stronger, you'll see, okay, now I can actually pull myself up, and you can actually achieve your first chin up. And again, as you get stronger, you simply do the same thing with the pull up. All right, so that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like my routines, if you like my stuff, then simply check out the link right here in the video description because there's still a discount on all my tutorials. So you can check things out, see if you like some of the stuff. So click the link in the description and I'll see you guys there. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, remember, you're a champion. Boom.